Hi guys, we start with the preparation of the environment in this case Visual Studio Code with the supporting for the Java language. The first thing that we need to accomplish is the installation of the Visual Studio Code. Then we go to Google and search Visual Studio Code. Then we go to the official site of Visual Studio Code and download the Windows Package Installer. After the file is downloaded, we start with the installation and we accept all the agreements and we continue with the default options and values. When the wizard finish the installation, this open or Visual Studio Code ID. We found in the top all the menus and options available to configure and manage this ID. In the right, in the left side, sorry, we have a panel with the explorer, search, source control, run, extensions and manage options. We look a little bit in these options later. But now we need to know if we have installed Java in our computer. Now we need to go to our command line and type Java version in this case we haven't installed uh, haven't java installed yet because we have an error java is not recognized as an internal or external command if you have installed java then you have a message with java version now we close this window and then we go to the Visual Studio Code documentation in the Java option and this is all the instructions needed to install Java correctly in the Visual Studio Code. The first that we need to install is the Java Development Kit. We have three options. The first one is the official site in Oracle with the Java development key and we start the download. We go to the download page and we have all the options available for the operating systems. We find the option for our operating system. In this case, it's Windows with the Java development kit with version 14. We accept the license agreement and we start with the download. finish the download, we start with the installation of the Java development kit. We accept the, the options with the default values. And we finish the installation, we close this window. Now we continue with the next step 
it's configuring your development environment to use the java development kit then we need to set the value of the java home system environment variable then we need to go to our file explorer we open our file explorer and right click in this pc then we select properties the next we select advanced system settings and we go to the environment variables we have two options the first one is an user variables and that variables are available only for the user and we have the second one system variables that are available for all the users in the computer then we select a new variable we type java home and we go to the directory in the local disk program files java and the folder for the java development kit installation if you install in another path then you look for that other path we select ok and we go to the path option or path variable and select the edit we create a new variable and we type java home but additional the pin folder and we move to the top of the variables we accept and we close all of the windows the next we need to install the visual studio code for java developers this is a package that includes all the necessary dependencies and extensions for java development in visual studio code and when we finish the download of the installer we continue with the installation of this package we accept the default options and when we finish the installation the Visual Studio Code ID is opened again the next process is to go to the extension panel and we look in the Java for Java Room we install this extension and we close Visual Studio Code and this refresh all the extensions that we install for Visual Studio Code with the support for Java. We have the Java extension packed that it's contained in the Visual Studio Code Java pack. Then we don't need to install this extension. Now we open again Visual Studio Code and we need to configure the Java runtime. Now we need to type Ctrl Shift P and type Java configure Java runtime. We look that the java.home has the path of our java home path and the java home path have the same uh, path for the java development kit then we close 
or windows and we test again in the command line the java version command now we have the actual version for our java installation that means that java runs correctly in our visual studio code then we try some options about how we can create a java project in visual studio code the first one we type ctrl shift p and we type again java create java project this option create all the structure folder or folder structure for our java project and it based in a template wait a little bit if not we run again the java create java project then we enable the semantic highline for java by default and we select no build tools the first option this creates a simple java program and we create in this case java example folder and we select the location the name for our for our java project it's the same like our folder and we type enter this refresh our visual studio code with all the structure for our java we go to the source folder or src and we select our app.java file this open a simple java program with a simple instruction that displays hello world message in a console then we wait a little bit to visual studio code because these tools are charging all the tools required for our java project and when the message about or setting files from the file explorer if we want to exclude for visual studio code we select the never option and we wait for the room and the book options when the visual studio code are available to run or java program we select the room option this execute our code but we need to allow the access in our firewall for the java development kit this execute the program and then we have the hello world message if we run again this display again the hello world message this is one option to create a java program and execute it in visual studio code but we have another option we go to the add folder to workspace and we create another another folder this folder is going to be oh, my first program my first java and we add to our workspace now we have a java example that was created 
uh, based on a template and we create my first Java that it's a manually option then we create a new file this file going to be my first java dot java and this create the structure for my first manually program the methods or the main methods that we need in this case we just type main and we select the first option and we sell we type the system dot out dot print ln with the message inside the parentheses and this is my first program we save the file if you note you have a big dot next to the extension of the file now that we save the dot disappear and we go to our first my first java file and in the right click we select the open in terminal this change the path of our folder and then we need to select java c and next the name or the file with the extension this execute a command that creates a class file with the same name of the java file this means or this process is named as a compile then for execute our program we need to execute the program the class file because if you try to execute the program without this class file then you have an a message of error then we type java with the name of the file without uh, any extension and then the message is display in the console this terminal console it's like the command line that means that we, if we type in this case the java uh, version instruction that give us a request with the version of our java installation or our java development kit well we have in in the java c and java the manual options to execute a code write it in java but you have the run function that execute in the same way and that's it guys see you in the next video